Alright, so I'm happy to finally show you now my completed and finished Pesto General Lee. Uh, just to tell you in the description, I'll leave a link to all the parts and all the decals on here. Um, you've probably seen a lot of the details on this car in some of my previous videos, but I'll just show everything here just in case you haven't watched. But if you do want to watch any of them, uh, I'll leave a link to a playlist below. Uh, it might not be right away, but it'll be within an hour and an hour and a half after this is uploaded. Um, so, we'll just start by looking under the hood. So, I just colored some parts of the engine, uh, silver with a just Sharpie marker. Then I added the spark plug wires, see, just going from here just across, just adding that, and then some wires to the battery terminal, if you see that there. Here, and there. Um, just use thread for that, and then I added some wires uh, for the CB radio uh, with thread. And, um, it's not in yet, but it will be uh, as soon as I get it. Be right there. But uh, so let's go to the interior of the car. I painted it all, and I mean all, uh, tan. I mean the dash, look at the dash, painted that tan, left a little bit black, messed up a little bit here behind the steering wheel. Uh, even the roof, which a lot of people don't really do that, but I did. So that's pretty cool. I added a roll cage, colored something silver in there. Um... And, you know, about the roll bar for it. And I kind of made the pedals a little bit silver in some places. And a little bit of chrome on the steering wheel. Uh, now in the trunk. It's so a trunk. I added a CB radio, or CB antenna with the wire. So that's one thing you see when you open the trunk. Uh, it's not meant to be hanging out that far, but, uh. Oh, well, we'll just roll with it. And, um, so I just made it a bit bigger and used some graph paper and clear coated that graph paper uh, to make it look like trunk lining. Uh, I got a spare tire for it. And then I got a four way, um, lug wrench. So that's meant to stay in there. And then a crate of moonshine. It's got four little barrels of moonshine oh. that was an accident I just tuck that in right there kind of triangle like so it doesn't really fall out sometimes I do it like this but I like it the triangle way if it will stay that way <laughs> um, and then just outside of the car again um, add the push bar which I bought a you know, all this stuff came together. About the push bar, uh, new wheels, chrome on the rocker panels, and the trim for the vinyl top, because some of the cars had vinyl top. This car, I forgot to mention, but this car is just a mix match of all the General Lees that they used in the show. Um... And then, like I said, I added a CB antenna with the wiring, and then all the decals. And then I kind of added a little bit of dirt in certain places, like here. Here, just along. And here. And then on the tires, of course. On the front. And, and underneath, this is where it gets crazy, kind of used a silver Sharpie. To make it just look a bit more realistic. And uh, then I clear coated it. And added dirt. Just threw dirt at it when the clear coat was still wet. Uh, just kind of make it look like you've been driving in Hazard County. But I think the things that really sets this car apart. From some of the other models. 
are the wire on the CB antenna because a lot of other models may have the CB antenna but they really don't have the wire so I think this really that really sets it apart and then the spark plug wires a lot of models especially Maisto models uh, they're not going to have the spark plug wire and it kind of looks like it's got a little dirt in there but uh, that's just glue I need to go back and color it a bit more because the glue for some reason turns everything white um, but a lot of cheaper models don't have the spark plug wires and this one didn't of course until I added them and then you know the battery wires and the CB wires and there's some wires in here actually I forgot about this uh, they're going to the dash, if you can see that, they just go up through here. This little silver piece right here, that's where the wires are going to the dash. And, um, you know, then the rocker trim, a lot of models don't really have that. And then the, uh, the, uh, vinyl top trim, a lot of models usually don't have that, but some do. Especially customs, but... And then, you know, where I painted the roof on the inside, a lot of models definitely don't have that. It's just orange, which I don't think this would look right at all if that was orange. So that's why I just had to get that in uh, tan. Of course, you still see a little bit of orange coming through, uh, but definitely not very much. Um, about three little orange pieces coming through. And then, you know, the dirt on it. Especially on the wheels, a lot of models definitely don't have that. Uh, some do, but and there's some you can buy. And then there's kind of a wider push bar compared to most models. Some models just have their push bar about half the width of this. But the way this fits on, it has to be just this wide. It could be wider, um, I think. I can't really tell. I'm betting it could be wider, but that's alright. I'd like it to be wider uh, to the point where it's like the widest you can go but I like it this way because it's at least one of the wider models uh, from the show and then you know obviously everything I did underneath between all the dirt and the clear coating and the uh, you know the silver so I think it looks really good under here it looks it looks like a real car uh, because before I added the dirt, it really didn't. Because no real car after a day of driving is going to be this shiny. Well, as shiny as it was, it'll be kind of dirty like this, especially driving on dirt roads. So, kind of captured that a little bit, which makes me happy. Drop it back down. And then, one thing, a few things I think kind of sets the Maisto model apart from everything every other model is the suspension not not just the front suspension but it's got rear suspension the front suspension works but not as well it's very uh, just a very little bit but the rear suspension works and it works very well Well, the good thing about the suspension is when I take pictures, it's not hanging two wheels off. The the wheel there, it kind of droops. So I'll have something going on looking like this with this wheel right here. Drop totally to the ground. This wheel right here drooped. And sometimes this one even gets compressed a little bit in pictures. So I'll kind of get a look kind of like that, if that makes sense. But... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a few more videos with this car. Um, you know, I've just, I've been working hard recently and getting some ideas written up. So I do have a few videos planned and not all of them are with this car. Uh, but I do have a few more planned. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, just make sure you get all the latest news and latest updates from me. Make sure uh, that you subscribe and you know hit that little bell while you're there and um thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this car and seeing it uh, as much as i enjoy it um so yeah thanks for watching and bye